Welcome to part two. Let's get straight into it. Get him black. Okay, cool, 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 cool. When we left off, we had just got through the airport and went through everything and blah, blah, blah. I'm sitting next to the crazy lady and she made it. Okay, cool. We in Arizona, we in Arizona, period. So it was like, okay, cool, we just landed. So the, we had a hotel from Thursday to Sunday, but we got in on Wednesday. So we stayed at um, Sherry, my great aunt's house, right? And that's where Dwayne, my cousin, and his now wife, Mimi, live, right? Okay, cool. So we got there, talked, caught up, ate food, blah, 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 went to sleep. Then we got woken up bright and early, and we were still late, and we were supposed to go to brunch to meet up with everybody, meet up with the whole family, okay, cool. We drive to brunch. We It was at this black owned restaurant called, I think it was called Brunch and Sip. I may be wrong. But the food was so good. Oh my gosh, the food was so good. And the scenery, oh my God. I'm not talking about the aesthetic of the restaurant. I'm talking about literally the scenery, like the mountains and the clear blue skies. It was so pretty. And it was nice to just catch up with the family and see everybody, it was real cool. One of the guys in the family, Byron, knows the owner of the restaurant. She ended up giving us a discount but i ain't get no discount because i paid before she came to put it in to get a discount and my food came up to 92 dollars that was a lot i ain't gonna lie but the food was good the food was very very good but i wish we would have got that discount but dang hit it then jazz which is me my sister was like okay i need to go to the mall because i need to get some new christian louboutin shoes for the wedding blah blah I'm, i know that's right sis i'm gonna sit my um my ass down right here while you buy them shoes, but I know that's right. She went to go buy the shoes. That was real, real cute. We left, and then I was like, yeah, I wanna go hiking, blah, blah, blah. So my good sis took me hiking, and when I tell y'all the scenery was so pretty, like I am in love with Phoenix, Arizona. Not me hiking in Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, the beautiful Arizona. <laughs> Y'all, we in the mountain. Look, look. We ain't got none of that in Florida. That's crazy. So beautiful. The mountains, the cacti. Like, oh my god, I was having such a great time. Like, if I lived in Phoenix, I would be up in the mountains every day. Like, I want y'all to see. First, we got there. It was horses. The, like before you get into the mountain, they had like this little horse thing where you can actually ride the horse. Blah, blah. I went over to the horses. They wasn't really at home with me like that. But it's okay. They probably wasn't messing with me like that because they probably have people holding a camera in their face all the time. And I realized that. So I took a couple videos and then I put my camera down because I was like, they probably really annoyed at that. Oh my god, they're big. Honey. Hi, cutie booty. Hi. Am I disturbing your dinner? I'm so sorry. Hey, girl. She said, not too close. Oh, shit. We left the horses, then we went into driving into, like, I think it was called South Mountain. Y'all, look at this. It was so pretty. Oh my goodness. Literally, so gorgeous. to get a little nauseous because I get car sick so easy. She dropped me back off to the hotel and I was hungry. I'm like, dang, they only really sell in and out on the West Coast side area. You know what I'm saying? They don't got that on the East Coast. So I'm like, I can't, I, I only been one time, we had a meet on the West Coast somewhere and I've been one time and I was like, dang, I can't remember if it was busing or if it was mid. And I'm like, dang, let me just go try it again. So I went over to in and out It was very much mid and I forgot to get a milkshake and I really wanted the, I wanted the milkshake more than anything and I forgot to get it. Like what? Yeah, in and out. Then I went back to the hotel, um, eating my food, blah, blah, blah. Then I was like, okay, I took a picture. You know, I took a pic you, you know, you know, you know I took pictures. I took pictures in the mountain. And I'm like, let, 
let me go ahead and post these on IG real quick, right? So I'm like trying to hurry post because you know the time difference. So it was like eight something there, but it was like 11 or something in Miami, right? I'm like, okay, let me hurry post these pictures before I get too late. I'm moving so fast. I post the wrong pictures to my Instagram. If you go to my Instagram right now and look at the pictures of me in the mountain, that first picture is not supposed to be that first picture. I'm so mad. I'm like... Dang, you know, IG don't let you redo nothing for real, for real. And I'm like, if I take these pictures down and repost it, I'm not going to get no likes. Like, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't, as Jason would say. And I'm like, dang. Took an L on that one. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> the next day, I'm in the bed all day. People's like, let's do this, let's do that. I'm like, no, I'm tired. So I slept all day until the nighttime. We were supposed to go to, oh, the lady that owned the brunch and seal her, her husband owned another restaurant called Lolo's, right? So she was like, okay, cool. Y'all can come to Lolo's. We're going to have a little section for y'all. I'm like, okay, cool. Is y'all doing the discount like y'all was doing at the other thing? Or is we paying for a price? Because... Let me know. I had a great time. I ended up not having to pay anything because Uncle Ron paid for me and grandma food, so I know that's right. Yeah, but everybody was there. We were having a good time. It was like a little turn up. It's like a little turn up. Like, it wasn't really that turn. Like, it was a, that was, like how they was lit there was like not lit here for Miami. But it was cute. Like, it was cute. It was, it was something. But the ambiance was nice. The food was good. <laughs> And they had games. We was playing Jenga. We was playing uh, Connect Four. Yeah, in the middle of the club, they had games. I was like, I, I like that. But it, it was not really a club club. It was like, you know, you know, the restaurants that turn into clubs at night. That's how it was. Okay. Then the next day was the wedding. It was so cool. I loved how they had it set up. <laughs> Really know if i want to have like a wedding for real for real maybe just like a really big party i don't know well we, we, that's that's we'll figure that out later but the way they had it set up was so nice and i was like dang that made me reconsider because i hate having to like move from this spot to this spot to do this blah, blah 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 but they had it all set up in one like we went straight to the area where they they said the you know the i do's went straight outside for drinks for a cocktail hour this is all one building now then went straight inside for the dinner they came back outside and they had street tacos and that was when the party and the dance and everything it was so nice like it was set up so good like they really did such a good job it made me really reconsider like dang maybe i do want to have a little if it's convenient like that like i like that like it was just like boom 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 <laughs> making me be like mm, that's just a lot of work a lot of uh, uh, but i really like i really messed with how they had everything set up it was nice everybody was dancing drinking eating it was so nice 
the whole family was just all, you know, loving on each other. It was so cute. Okay, and then the last day, the day that we didn't, our flight went to 11 at night. So we basically had the whole day, right? We went bowling. First we were supposed to go bowling. Then it was like, okay, no, we ain't going. We went to the bowling alley, but we couldn't go bowling because they had a league there. So then we left, we're like, okay, we're gonna go to main event, which was right next to our hotel. We literally could have walked across the street instead of driving all the way to the other place. I think it was Bolero. What's going on, people? Hi, people. Am I famous now? <laughs> <laughs> Ended up having to drive back, drive over to the main event, even though it was right across the street. And we was waiting, waiting, waiting. People taking their sweet time. Nobody was ready. We were supposed to be there. At, I don't remember what time we were supposed to be there, but people ain't come till two hours later. So what do that tell you? Right. All the old folks was there. The people my age, I had to roll with the old folks because that's who my ride was. Because we was riding with um, Auntie Sherry and, and, and Uncle Ron. But all the people my age was taking their sweet time. We like, okay, we here at main event. Where y'all at? They was like, oh, we, we just taking a shower. Just taking a shower? Finally they came, everybody was just socializing, we bowling. Main event is like a place where they got like arcade, bowling, restaurant, it's a whole, whole thing, right? I'm like, oh, this is actually kind of fire. Yeah. You know, I had the double it. You, you did. Touch it, touch it. We bowling, eating, just, you know, having a good old reunion. It was really cute. And then I remembered, I did not tell y'all. Why they left, before the wedding, they went out to the club, right? Why they left me? They left me at the hotel. Why y'all left me at the hotel? I'm calling them out, the way Mimi, Jazz, Left me at the hotel and I snitched when all everybody was around. So see, Dwayne had told me that he was going out, right? He was like, I got two sections. We getting bottles. It's going to be lit. He's like, you coming out? I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know, if y'all know me for real, I'm really not like a party party person for real. Like when it's events like this, yeah, I'm going to go out and have a good time. But like, I'm not like, oh, a random Saturday. Like, yeah, we, we getting lit. Not like that, right? Cool. So I was really on chill vibes, no cap coming up here or whatever. So I'm like, okay, um, yeah, I'm a slide, I'm a slide, blah, 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 right? Let me tell y'all the full thing. Okay, so at Lolo's, he was like, you coming out? You going out with me or you going out with Mimi? I'm like, um, I don't know, right? Because normally I would just go out with Mimi because the fellas probably want to live their life, you know what I'm saying? Without having, you know, whatever, blah, blah, right? So I'm like, I mean, I don't know, blah, blah. Mimi didn't tell me she was doing anything. She actually said she was not going out. Okay, cool. So the night of, when I'm back at the hotel, right? Dwayne texted me to my son. Wait, let me go to the messages. So Dwayne texted me, said, you coming out tonight or you going with Mimi? And I said, Mimi didn't say she was going out. And then I ain't get no reply. So then I was like, I'll go out with you. He texted me back, okay. And that was a late, late, late test. And I'm like, it sounded like he really ain't trying to be bothered. So, and I really did not care at all. Like I did not mind, right? So I'm like, okay. I texted him, I said, if you rather just hang with the fellas, like I don't mind. He was like, nah, it's good. And then I said, LMAO, I'm serious. Like I'm really fine not going with y'all. And then he said, I want y'all to have fun. And then guess what? You think I got a text back with any info? I go on Instagram, clicking people, Insta stories. Everybody lit at the club. All my cousins is lit at the club and I'm in a bed. I was like, wow. And none of my other cousins text me or nothing. I'm like, wow. So at the wedding, I'm like, dang, y'all really left me, blah, blah. They was like, no, like we really didn't have no info either. It was last minute for us. We just decided to go and blah, blah. I'm like, y'all so fake. Y'all is fake. But it's okay because I really ain't feel like getting, you know, putting on makeup, doing my hair and blah, 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 blah. But still, it's the principle. But anyways, it's okay. I ain't want to go anyway because they got super lit. This this is the night before the wedding. They got super lit. Lit enough to the point where one of the groomsmen was there throwing up in the trash can and was getting felt up by a homeless man. Trying to, I guess he was trying to take his wallet or something, blah, blah, blah. I said, wait, not you getting felt up by the homeless man. And then one of the other girls, man, had to pull out the blicky. I said, wait a minute. Hold on. What? What's happening? Yeah, people was throwing up. They, I think, I don't know how many bottles they got, but they was get, getting, they had two sessions and they was getting bottles. And they was getting lit. I'm like, dang, that, that could have been some good content for the vlog. But, you know, it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. So, and lastly, after the bowling, it was time for us to go. We said our goodbyes. They dropped us off to the airport. We checking in for um, the spirit. Mind you. 
we bought a couple more things. So we like, okay, how heavy is the bag gonna be? Tell me why we hit 40 on the dot. I said, I know that's right. I know that's right. Being on the side of the airport where Spirit and Frontier are is such an experience every time. One lady in her wig cap yelling on the phone, talking about some, can you send me $72? Because my check in bag, $72. She ain't, I, she ain't know that she had to pay for her bag, I guess. I don't know. On the phone, loud, talking about, can you send me $72 so she can pay for her bag? And another man was trying to, a uh, frontier man was trying to stop the man from putting his thing in because he saw him push it in. And, I'm like, this is just a horrific play. Like, mind you, we waiting there because we, you know, we getting a wheelchair for grandma. So we just sitting here watching the theatrics in Sue. And I'm just like, you know what? Every day, every time I say I'm never flying Spirit of Frontier again because the foolishness. But then you be having them $25 flights. And I be like, you know what? Got me again. And then we went through security. And then one of these boys, I don't know, one, some boy, you know how they stop you? It's like, we gotta check your bag. He was not having it. It was getting scary. I was like, Grandma, can you come on? Like, the lady with the wheelchair was like, I'm like, can y'all come on? Cause you know, I had TSA pre so I was going right through. But I was like, come on, let, they get a little serious over there. Let's, let's, let's make our way. Finally get on the airplane, make it back home. Had to call the Uber to go to the car. Got in the car, drove, trying to hurry up and get in the car before traffic started because we got in at like 6 a.m. Driving home, driving home, get home. I'm like exhausted. I was supposed to have practice that day, didn't go. But we made it home and that is the end of the wedding Arizona vlog. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Married Flat. If you don't know who I am, my name is Ebony Morrison and I make lifestyle vlogs and I review tough our ass and I'm gonna start making self-help content. I need to start making self-help content. This next, next one of these next videos is gonna be a self-help video, okay? I promise. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, y'all see y'all. Bye! Get them black, Fool. get them black, Call. get them black, the get them black, Money. fuck them up, I play. get them right. Call.